Okay, everybody, this is Iman, that Philly wholesaler chick, and as you can probably see on the screen here is a uh, fellow wholesaler, Antonio Edwards, also known as Antonio Hitman Edwards, uh, coming, coming to you live uh, here from myself from Philadelphia, of course, and Antonio from um, Virginia, correct? Correct. Correct. Where, where are you in Virginia, Antonio? I'm in Virginia Beach. Ah, Virginia, Virginia Beach. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. Excellent. So, uh, yeah, we're doing this call, uh, this video call uh, for here for Real Estate uh, Wholesaling Explained dot com, and I've been watching Antonio. He, uh, you know, I, I recently saw him. Uh, he had posted some things on Facebook about how many deals he was closing um, in the month of April, and then how many closings he had scheduled. Uh, on a calendar for, uh, for, for this month here in, in May. And I was really, <clears throat> excuse me, it really, um, you know, it was impressive because I think at that point, Anthony, was there like seven deals or something like that, uh, for April? Mm -hmm. Am I correct in that? And four for the month of May. So, um, I'm going to, um, turn it over to Antonio and, uh, you know, let him share a little bit about, um, you know, who he is and, uh, how he got started and real, in uh, wholesaling. <clears throat> Excuse me, him and I both are struggling with uh, allergies here, so you might hear us coughing <laughs> quite a bit here uh, uh, in the video interview here. So um, if you could just share with everybody, Antonio, you know, again, what your background is. And, you know, I, I just want to interrupt real fast. You know, uh, Antonio, um, you know, he, he has a free ebook uh, that talks about, you know, him closing three to five deals a week. And he's going to share with us how he's able, to, how he's been able to do that with uh, the start. With you can share that, Antonio. <laughs> yeah. Uh, first of all, I like to appreciate what you're doing, Iman. Um, you know these these free videos. Um, I know I noticed myself when I when I was starting off, and even to this day, I, I like watching videos hands on, right. hands on, because it's more than a picture or right. read, reading text. So. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I've been I've been into this real estate business uh, about a year and a half. It's going on two years now. Uh, it actually be two years in August. Uh, we here we I think we're in May, uh, middle of May. So um, <clears throat> prior to then, I was in the music business. I was real heavy into the music business, uh, producing tracks for uh, industry artists and also songwriting for them. Uh, I was doing that for about ooh, nine ten years. Good nine ten years. Um, wow. And that, that was doing pretty. Yeah, that was doing fairly well. Actually, well for me. I you know I placed my placed some tracks on Busta Rhymes, Twista album. <clears throat> so okay. I was getting placements and and, and doing you know doing some things. But um, along the way, I was reading books um, like uh, Rich Dad Poor Dad, uh, Think and Grow Rich, um, just just books in general <clears throat> of you know like what. Healthy and how to be rich, and I noticed they used to always bring up real estate. Right, right. You know, so that that that, that kind of stayed and stayed up, stayed in my head, and like you know, <clears throat> turned on a light bulb in my head. I'm like, man, am I in the right industry? Even though music is my passion, right. Um, but I and I noticed like even the top music people done real estate too. You know, even if they was a money lender or something, they was they was. Some, they were doing something in the real estate field, so right. I, used to, I found that out. So I started, you know, researching more, and um, on my time off from the music, I would go to like these little free seminars. Um, and <laughs> yeah, I, I think one. we've all been down that <laughs> trap, down that, down that path. <laughs> Yeah, the first one I went to, I think, was a rich dad, poor dad seminar. What I paid, I think, five hundred bucks. <laughs> okay. Wow. Okay. <laughs> yeah. But you know, uh, you know, every everybody goes through it, and um, I know with the speaker was he was talking about different strategies, and and the one strategy that caught me was wholesaling. You know how you can make money, you know, uh, in real estate using none of your money or credit. I thought it was a scam. Right. So right. I went on ahead and <laughs> I went on ahead and and uh, did a course or like a hands-on mentor course at the time. I think this was about two years ago, two and a half years ago, which. I wish to this day, I mean, everybody make, you know, learn off their mistakes. I wish I would never pay for that. I paid five grand for that on a credit card at the time right. and I learned nothing. 
Right. So here I go. I'm still into the music business. I'm still interested in the wholesale again, but I'm actually researching more on my time off. Mm-hmm. So uh, <clears throat> in my local market in Virginia, I met a, I had a, I met somebody uh, who became my mentor and still is my mentor today. This guy named by the name of Chris Haskins who got me started oh, okay. off. So I was fortunate. Uh, I don't know if you know him, but uh, yeah, I, heard I was fortunate. Right. I was fortunate to have a hands-on mentor to walk me through my first couple of deals. And I know some mm-hmm. people, you know, struggle with that. They're, either they're scared to move forward, but I think a hands-on mentor would get you on a fast track and, um, and um, alleviate most mistakes that people make in the real estate business. Even wholesaling, you can make mistakes. Right. So right. Uh, <clears throat> he walked me through my first couple of deal, deals, and I was gone from there. I mean, I, right. I, my, my first wholesale check back in August of 2009 was 12500 and I was like, see you, music. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> you know, it's like, see you. And I was like, man, if I can, I can all I got to do is put this on the contract, Right. And flip my other piece of paper to an end buyer. I was like, right. make twelve five with little of my time. I just couldn't right. believe it. Right. So I just repeated the process over and over again, over and over, and it's just getting better every day. Right. Okay. Now, mm-hmm. like I said, you know, like I, um, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> goodness, um, like I alluded to in the beginning, you know, I know that you have. Uh, you know, I guess some systems in place that have um, afforded you the ability to be able to close uh, several deal more. Well, you know, actually more than several deals a month consistently. Um, uh, I don't know how long that's been for you, but if you could share, you know, I guess pretty much, you know, uh, you know, with everybody, how you've been able to do that, like the systems that you have in place and that type of thing. So. Right, and how right. Important, and how important that is, Antonio, too. Okay, okay, Iman. Yeah, definitely. Um, systems is very essential. Um, when I first started, even though I had a mentor, I was like the one man band. On my first mm-hmm. maybe five, four, five, six months, I was just the one man band doing everything. I was the marketing department. I right. was answering phone calls. Right. <laughs> I was doing the contracts, uh, making follow ups, uh, trying to. Uh, put bandit signs out. I mean, it was just, I was doing deals, but it was just, I had no time for nothing. And I was, you know, I just started, uh, started following certain people, key Mm -hmm. people online, you know, like the Preston Mm -hmm. Neelys. I started studying people like uh, uh, Mike Collins, um, even Dan Merrill. He's big on systems too. I really studied him hard for our systems. And uh, I noticed all of them had a lot of time. They, they done so, they was doing so much, Basically, they was doing so much, and they still had time, to, you know, to do right. what what they was, you know, do what they want and love. Right. So, uh, <clears throat> so what I did, uh, I, I read the four hour work week. This was about a year ago, and that that really changed my life. I mean, he started talking about outsourcing and uh, you know um, hiring virtual assistants in the Philippines, and I just right. start. I was like, wow. <laughs> And if yeah, for those who don't teach. know, the, the, the four hour work week is authored by Tim Ferriss, so you may yeah. want to uh, invest a few dollars to, for that book and, and, and purchase that book for yourself. So. Mm-hmm. Well, so, I, yeah. I highly recommend that. I, I, I have the audio in my, in my, in my truck and um, I probably listen to the audio at least 10 times. Right. All the way through, at, at least. I learn something new every time I listen to it. Right. Every time. Right. Every time. So, uh, I just started studying systems, and I, I brought I brought FreedomSoft last year. Um, that helped me out. It's a is a C, you know CRM uh, type right. system where you can track your leads. And uh, I have two virtual assistants now running it, uh, and they they love it. You know because everything is in one one spot for them. Uh, previously, before that, we was tracking you know keeping track of all the, our leads on Excel file sheets. Now they can keep track of it inside right. FreedomSoft. And uh, we, you know, we communicate through uh, color codes and freedom soft as well. So uh, that, that's the beauty. Right. <laughs> and, uh, that helped me out too. So right. Okay. So what kinds mm-hmm. of things, like Antonio, like I know, you know, you made mention of the fact that, um, you know, early on uh, when you first got started, that you know you were, you know, doing everything. You were, you know, wearing all the hats, uh, so to speak, mm-hmm. in your business. So 
what things I guess in the beginning were you were, were you able um, to do to take yourself outside of having to do those things in your business like you know what I mean like in the beginning like what was it bandit signs was it you know direct mail was it what if you could share that with everybody what was it um, that I was doing yeah what types of things uh, did you start doing um, what mm-hmm. systems did you have in a place that afforded you to be able, the ability to be able to take yourself I don't know if it was gradual or you know mm-hmm. just you know you just one day you were doing everything and then the next once you had these systems you weren't so you know what what types mm-hmm. of things were you able um, how can I best articulate it like you know uh, like, alleviated you know, what, myself out of the business exactly okay that's a good you, question right uh, the biggest thing in mind was the outsourcing to virtual assistants. Mm-hmm. Uh, I started focusing focusing on my strengths and outsourcing my weaknesses. I did not want to cause. I didn't want to pick up my. I didn't want no calls come to my cell phone like they did my first four right. or five months of my business. Uh, mm-hmm. <clears throat> I didn't want to talk to no sellers. I wanted my my virtual assistants. Now they negotiate with my sellers. They write all of my contracts. They do all the follow ups. They even uh, babysit the deal to the title com- all the way to the end of the closing with the title company. Now uh, wow. they they build my buyers list. They do all my direct mail and they order my banner signs, which my banner signs go to a team that I have in Virginia, which mm-hmm. I don't even put those out anymore. Right. I pay them to put the banner signs out. Uh, driving for dollars, I have a team that I pay every two weeks for mm-hmm. that. So basically, I outsource and outsource the little stuff. So it, 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 it uh, you know, helps me to have more time to do the things I really love. And I'd rather right. pay somebody to do it and get the big checks at closing. Right. So I can have more time. Okay. I mean, were you so, able to I do mean, all of those things, Antonio? Like all the things that you just mentioned when you uh, began using these systems or virtual, uh, virtual <laughs> assistants, were you able to do that all at once or was that like a gradual process for you? I was doing it all at once, uh, but I was closing less deals. I was probably mm-hmm. doing like a deal a month. Mm-hmm. Uh, but once I started doing that, I, I start it started opening up more doors for me to close more deals because I was using OPT other people's time. Right. And you know, once I started the first virtual assistant that I hired, and the first thing I outsourced, it just blew up for me because I was just like, man, I was like, I can think and pick up my phone calls right. for two, three dollars an hour. Right. Or I can pay this person, you know, two hundred and fifty bucks a dollar sign to put a banner sign out. Right. Where while I'm and doing something else, studying right. the next big thing. You right. know, and, and that really, really, really exploded and I helped help for me. It gave me because I I'm, I like internet marketing and it gave me some yeah. time to study more of internet marketing. Right. Uh more you know, because I always wanted to get into that. Right. And uh you know, you never stop learning. So I mean, when you have wear all those hats, right? You it blocks it blocks your learning process to learning new things. Right. Yeah, I mean myself too. You know, <clears throat> I think it's key to study. You know, internet marketing because I mean, essentially, mm-hmm. I believe at the end of the day, I don't care what kind of business you're in, you're a marketer. You got to market right. your services. You know, your products mm-hmm. or your services or whatever it is that you're you're offering. Um, mm-hmm. a customer or a client, I mean, because, you know, that's the lifeblood of any business. So you got to market and, you know, studying marketing is, uh, is key, I believe, too. So, but, um, mm-hmm. I just, I find it really interesting now. I have, um, well, actually, I did have your site up, but, uh, I, you had, I'm also on Antonio's, uh, subscriber list. So if you're not on it, um, it's a good idea to, to get on um, Antonio's uh, subscriber list because uh, he has some really good information um, for free, actually. So, and what's that mm-hmm. website? What's the website that uh, people can opt in to uh, for the wholesaling information that you have, Antonio? Where can they go uh, for that? FlippingRealEstate101.com. Yeah, FlippingRealEstate101.com. And uh, I, it's like I was, <clears throat> excuse me, before. Um, uh, our, our video call here. I was I was telling Antonio that I got received an email uh, about um, what he's going to be talking about next, and I I watched the video. Um, so you know, hopefully you'll go there afterwards and, and opt in and uh, see the video. But 
you know, like scheduling. I mean, all the things that, uh, that, you know, what this service does. I don't know. What is it? Do you hear that, Antonio? Is that like music or What's, something? Oh, you hear that in the background? That's the oh, what is that, ice like an ice cream truck? truck? Is, is that too loud? Uh, <laughs> I was wondering. I'm like, what is that? Okay, it's an ice cream <laughs> truck. Yeah. It's about that time <laughs> on the East Coast, 6, 630. But, um, <laughs> But uh, back to uh, the email, I, I was watching, you know, the video that um, uh, uh, video, uh, the video that Antonio has on his site explaining, uh, you know, the different services or the different um, tasks that you can have outsourced. And it's interesting because um, just yesterday, uh, but by the time you're probably seeing this video, um, I did a, a post, um, you know, uh, about outsourcing and, uh, you know, but the amazing thing about, with, you know, Antonio's, uh, the systems that, uh, they have in place for real estate, uh, investors is just, uh, mind blowing to me. Cause, you know, one, these people are trained specifically to work with, you know, uh, people who are in a real estate investing uh, profession and the types of things that you can have done at, Two dollars a pop, two dollars, three dollars a pop for the for the most part, Antonio. So I'm gonna let mm -hmm. you take, take it from there. Like if you could share uh, some of the things that, uh, that you know people can can have outsourced. I mean, you you talk, touched on some of those things like direct mail, um, you know, uh, building a buyer's list, uh, speaking with sellers. Um, I like the whole thing about the contract from, you said pretty much from, from the beginning to getting it to the title, the title company. So mm -hmm. I'm going to turn that, turn it over to you. If you could share with us, uh, some of the other things that they could get outsourced or we could get outsourced. Cause trust me, I'm going to be signing up. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, <clears throat> well, pretty much they're, they're trained in the basic field of real estate. Of course, you you know you apply your own advanced training for mm -hmm. your you know your personal virtual assistants that that, that you bring on board. Mm -hmm. uh, and they also train in FreedomSoft too. Okay. So if you decide to get, do you have FreedomSoft? No, I don't um, have I'm, that. Okay. Yeah. Well, if you decide to get that in the future, they they know the basic. Um, Ways to 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 do, to, to uh, maneuver in Freedom Soft as well, right. which is a powerful software that you can add to uh, to your real estate business, especially if you're trying to do this virtually, like wholesaling and things like that. Right, right. Um, <clears throat> but I mean, you can hire a virtual assistant for any business, uh, mm -hmm. not just real estate, but you know. I mean, you've got your follow-ups. Uh, your follow-ups is the bloodline, you know, aside from marketing. you got to follow up. So if somebody has to call or somebody has to send that follow-up postcard or letter. Right. And I'd rather, I mean, if it could be outsourced, why not outsource it for right. two, three dollars an hour? Right. Uh, you know, as well as, you know, set up set your, set your appointments, uh, make make the schedules, uh, even doing Facebook stuff, uh, social right. networking, um, Twitter, LinkedIn, all that stuff. I mean, everything is basically moving online, and whatever is web based, you can pretty much outsource it. Um, ordering your banner signs for your real estate business, you know, mm -hmm. it, it, you know, they they can do that. Just give them give them a, a credit card. I mean, you have to do it anyway. Any big business out here, some somebody has a marketing department where they have their credit card on file to do all their marketing. You know, if right. you get to, you know, if you think about it, so. Right. Uh, my virtual, my full-time virtual assistant has my my our marketing credit card on file, where she can pay for it, like to click the mail, right. you know, do the direct mail, pay for the list on Melissa Data or List Source, right. and uh, as well, I mean, you can find, you know, you can do stuff uh, on your city assessment websites, have them find like do the probate information, mm -hmm. uh, data entry, uh, build, you know, as far as your buyers and um, sellers. I mean, so much stuff. Right. So, so much stuff. Build your websites. I mean, they, they do it for, they got some good people out there that can do it for a very, very good price. Build your websites. Right. And where you're wearing them and here in the U.S. Right. Um, is, you're paying a lot of money for it. So. Right. Um, <clears throat> it's, it's just so much, it's countless things. Uh, I know, uh, uh, what's his name? Um, Timothy Ferris. 
He says his virtual assistant knows his social security number. <laughs> wow. So I haven't got that far yet. Yeah, right. But he was like, <laughs> that's how deep he's in, too. I'd say his virtual assistant, wow. you know, and outsourcing. Right. So, wow. That's interesting because, you know, yeah, that's some mm-hmm. sensitive information. So uh, right. definitely need a level of trust there to be doing that. Mm-hmm. But um, what was I going to say? So essentially, like, where you are right now, you know, like, so essentially, so what are you, are you just, what, showing up the closings? Or is that basically it or you what? I mean, you, I mean, I don't know. You're, are you still negotiating your, your own deals or what? How's that? Is that, what, where are you, what, what are you doing with all those systems in place? What is it mm-hmm. that you're left with doing in your, in your, in your wholesaling business? Well, I, um, I still, I still look over the leads that, that come into the system that they, mm-hmm. you know, they take in a day. I'll make sure, I'll, you know, I maybe leave like a, 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 a some type of note inside the right. system where it'd be like, hey, call this person back and offer 200, you know, 20,000 or something. Right. So right. they'll call back. But as far as the big deals, you know, that's probably net me 10, 15K plus. Mm-hmm. I would negotiate that. My, I, I would leave that up to myself to call the uh, seller and negotiate. Right. Um, okay. I may look at maybe as far as the ones that's worth going out going out to look at. I might look at one or two houses a week. Right. Um. Um. I, but I do have some people out here that do the take pictures and do the video for me. If it's right. a, a so so deal, but it's something that I know I can right. feel that the seller's motivated. I'm gonna go out there myself. <laughs> right. <laughs> Make right. it happen fast as possible. Right. Um. But other than that, I'm just I'm just on the internet marketing stuff and just studying that. Um, wow. Because as far as on my wholesaling business, uh, I got the virtual assistants to that that is moving and shaking on that end. Right. Some, some team teams that's out in the literally out in the field in Virginia, right. that's doing the banner signs and driving for dollars for me and right. you know, going out to the court, courts and stuff like that. So. Right. <laughs> I mean, I'm really like uh, that's really um, that's amazing that you know that. Uh, that you're able to run your business like that. I mean, so you're essentially, am I hearing you correctly that you're not even like, you're not uh, like going to people's houses and sitting down and negotiating deals like that? Not like I used to. I mean, I used, wow. to, I used to waste, I mean, I, I looked at so many houses and my, I mean, I know I've only been doing this for a year and a half, but my right. first four or five months, I was, I, that's all I did. I mean, right. I was grinding. I was probably looking at probably about Driving to probably fifteen to twenty houses a week, wow. even if it was a non a non motivated seller or a motivated right. seller, you I were just yelling. driving. Right. Yeah, but now I know to the point like I, I is you know to go out there I, it's, it's certain key words I hear. Right. It even waste my time going out to them. I, I use I use a a, a scale like a level for one to ten. If they're like a, a one one through five. Mm-hmm. There's not one through four. They're not worth it. Five through right. seven, maybe follow up. Uh, right. you know, eight through ten. Those are the motivated ones. You want to go out. Right. You know, they say they want to get rid of the house. Those are motivated. They just say, just just bring me any offer. I mean, stuff right. like keywords. You know, or, you know, I don't want the house no more. I had one seller say, uh, take my house away from me. <laughs> <laughs> So wow. I knew what level, level of motivation that was. So, right. I, uh, you know, my 20. first assistant, she yeah, emailed right. me that, emailed me that, and she was like, well, Antonio, uh, I forgot her name, but the seller name was, but she was like, mm-hmm. Antonio, this seller says, take her house away from from her. What right. do you want to offer? Right. So we offered her uh, 1200 bucks, and she took it. Wow. I should offer her 500 She probably right. took that, too. So. Right, right. Uh, I mean, that's, that's amazing, Antoine. I mean, I really, that's that's very impressive. I mean, so <clears throat> a quest, uh, my next question to you is like, for example, um, if you have, because I know, you know, I guess, you know, when uh, outsourcing became like a, you know, a, a, catch, a catchphrase or whatever, you know, um, I think a, the misconception out there is that you know, you got to be like a Walmart or a, a, you know, like a, I don't know, like a Donald Trump or somebody to be to even be able to afford to outsource um, things, you know, different tasks in your business. So we know, this, we know <clears throat> excuse me, that that's not that's no longer the case. I mean, I mean, we know of other sites 
uh, you know, where, you know, outsourcing, uh, people can go to outsource their projects and stuff like that. So something, just give me an idea, like for, like maybe a direct mail campaign, uh, speaking with sellers, um, putting out bandit signs, um, trying to think of some of the things that I do, uh, yellow letter marketing, um, mm-hmm. negotiating deals. I mean, on the, I, mean, I know you can't give me an exact, you know, figure, but what, you know, what would somebody be looking to uh, have to invest to do something like that? Like, I don't know if it's done daily, if it's done weekly or whatever. So, I mean, could you kind of give a, a rough idea? I mean, because this is definitely something um, that's needed. I mean, you know, like just starting out. I mean, I know some people mm-hmm. early on, you know, you may not have a lot of, you know, um, you know, the cash flow isn't really there. So you're, you're, you know, you're, you know, your only alternative is to really go out there and do it your darn self and cruise for yeah. cash and that type of thing. The real grunt work. <laughs> business. So. Like, I mean, realistically, what are, you know, what what would somebody be looking at having to invest? Pretty much, like, I just say the basics, you know, like talking with sellers, buyers, sending direct mail, a direct one direct mail piece, whatever. You know, what, what, mm-hmm. um, yeah, what, could, what would somebody be looking to have to invest like that? What's the... You're talking about far as far as um, uh, marketing or just overhead costs in general. Yeah, with the with the virtual assistants. Like if you're if you're outsourcing that stuff to someone um, at that mm-hmm. rate, I mean, what what are you kind of like maybe looking at for a monthly budget to do that? I mean, just I know it's kind of hard to say, but I mean, just like roughly. Are you talking about from the marketing direct mailing to all the way to a, hiring a virtual assistant full time? Uh, Everything. Yeah. Or you just Well sir there's not even everything, uh, Antonio, but mm-hmm. just some stuff stuff like like I said, like maybe mm-hmm. you know, speaking with sellers, uh okay. finding buying leads, sending out a direct mail piece, um mm-hmm. and, and buyers. Just say let's just say that. So to somebody okay. to start out with. What are they looking at having to invest like on a monthly basis? Because I don't know how that whole thing works. And you know, mm-hmm. like if you if you got some well of course you have somebody and your business doing those tasks daily, so at an hourly rate. So, mm-hmm. I mean, I, you, you know. can <laughs> you you'd be surprised, Iman. You can have somebody. You can have somebody to do all that for you mm-hmm. for four to five hundred dollars a month. Okay, all right. Four time, five days a week, forty five days a week, forty hours. Okay, eight hours a day. Right. Wow. And maybe hire hire a virtual assistant part time. On the side as well, like I do mm-hmm. uh, on the weekends. Okay. To do the little stuff. Um, right. When you say but, little stuff, I mean, like what? When you say little stuff. A, well, my part time. <laughs> huh? There's a delay here. I said, I know. I said, I when, you say, when you say little stuff, what do you mean by little stuff? If you could kind of expound on that. Well, my part time virtual assistant, she does all my data entry. Okay. Uh, I have somebody. I have somebody in uh, my market that drives for dollars for me four days a week, um, four day, Monday through Thursday, pretty much. Friday, Saturday, okay. Sunday off. They drive for dollars in certain right. areas that I give them. Right. And she, they come back. They come back with pages full of property. It's called a property info sheet that I have for them. They come right. back with pages full of properties. Right. But they email them to my part-time virtual assistant, and she puts them on Excel spreadsheet. Okay. So we can upload it to click the mail. Oh, okay. Don't let that jet go by. <laughs> right, right. I know it's loud. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So she, once they come back with that property info sheet, they email it to my part time VA where she puts all the information on Excel spreadsheet. She gets it all from the city's website, web, uh, assessment websites. Okay. So that's I call that the small stuff, but that's a lot of tedious stuff if you're doing yeah, that stuff yeah. yourself. You got right. like yeah. they come back with, you know, an average of 150 to 200 properties at a time. That's a right. lot to look, look up as far as the right. owner's name and the mailing address. Right. It is. It is. You're right. Yeah. Absolutely right. And imagine so. doing that yourself. So right. I mean, if you're doing that yourself, you're probably missing out on a lot of deals because you're you're focusing on that little right. task. Right. Right. Okay. 
Mm-hmm. All right, that's that's awesome. So, okay, so uh, where where can uh, where can folks go to uh, take advantage of that? I mean, there's, this is not a membership site or anything like that. I mean, you're not locked into anything. Um, it's just mm-hmm. a service that's available, um, you know, uh, to everybody. So, where where is it that they can right. go, Antonio? They can go to myvanow.com. Okay. Um, again, that's myvanow.com. That's an actual virtual assistant site that we have right. offer virtual assistance, right. two to three dollars an hour. Yeah. Right. Okay. And there, like he, you know, you'll see there that there's, <laughs> you know, other stuff, uh, a lot more, you know, extensive type of if you're looking to do more stuff, you know, beyond, you know. Uh, what we discussed here on, on the video, like programming, web design, that type of situation. So, but, um, I, I mean, I really appreciate you taking the time out, Antonio, um, mm-hmm. and, and, uh, and, come and, and, and doing this interview because I really think that, you know, this is because a lot of times people don't know, okay, they hear about outsourcing, but, mm-hmm. you know, one, they may not know where to go and whether, you know, if they're going to invest their money, whether it's going to be, you know, whether the investment is um, is worth it, you know what I mean? Because there's, wow. you never know. You don't know what you're getting. So as mm-hmm. Antonio said, that these people have been uh, trained uh, in what we do as uh, real estate wholesalers. And, you know, I, I believe also there, you know, you have the opportunity to interview these people uh, and, and, and everything like that. They send you your resume. And, um, and then you decide. You decide whether this is the person that's right for you. Based on yeah. you know um, the information that you you know that you have before you about that person, so I know that uh, I'm going to be making my way over to myvanow.com because uh, you know I know like I like I said I, I don't know if it's a control freak thing or just you know just being stubborn or whatever like you know part of me I don't know if I want to give up the part about you know actually meeting face to face with sellers, but <clears throat> excuse me. I mean, I just recently outsourced some projects, and I'm addicted, man. I'm telling you, like, look, why not? Mm-hmm. If you can affordably pay somebody else to do really, like, a lot of the work or a lot of the front work, I mean, it really does allow you, one, to enjoy, you know, uh, your life and what this business is right. affording you the ability to do. And, um, mm-hmm. you know, and, and run your thing more efficiently, so... Again, um, I thank you for coming uh, on this call, Antonio, and, uh, and and sharing with us, you know, how this system, you know, having these systems in place has um, helped to explode your biz- business and, and um, you know, helping you to be the success you are today. And uh, again, that's my, yeah, I really do appreciate it. So, myvanow.com and... Um, I'm sure this is not the last time, Antonio. So, but again, I really appreciate you coming on the call. So, can I have one more thing, Imar? Sure, sure. Um, for those for those of you out there that haven't haven't done a deal or just starting out, I have a student that just signed up from Maryland, and she she's getting a part time virtual assistant. Because when you're marketing, you have to put a number. Right. On all your marketing, and that that call got to go go through somewhere. So right. all her calls going to go to a part time virtual assistant, three hours a day. I think she's hiring them for Monday through Thursday, three hours a day. So she's probably gonna be paying them a hundred and some change a month, <laughs> that, mm-hmm. which is dirt cheap. I mean, right. why answer the phone just phones yourself? So right. if you're just starting out, at least get a part time virtual assistant just to answer your calls because you don't want to be the be the secretary or the phone person. Right. You know, you out dinner out dinner with the family and a motivated seller call you while you're in the middle of dinner. Trust me, right. I, could, I I I got some stories. <laughs> right. Right. You right. Know? So. You're right. So like you said, I mean, even if you don't, you know, because, you know, change is not always easy um, and something, you know, with something that's new. So maybe just, you know, starting out with something small, like, you know what I mean? Until you get comfortable with, uh, you know, how this whole process works and, and get comfortable with the person that you're working with. So, you know, maybe like you said, just start out outsourcing, you know, fielding your mm-hmm. calls to uh a virtual assistant, so that way you're not having to constantly pick up the phone. Right. So anyway, right. I appreciate you um, sharing that, Antonio. So um, 
I, I know some people, there's going to be some people uh, who see this, this video and, you know, it's like, feel like it's really a godsend because I actually was just having a conversation with somebody last night who needed to have a squeeze page put up and, you know, just doesn't have the time to do it. And um, so, you know, and I had somebody else today who has no idea about how to build a buyer's list, who's just starting out and has a whole bunch of information. So again, you know, um, this would be, this is definitely uh, stuff that, uh, information that could benefit, you know, a lot of people. And I, I appreciate you, you know, making that available to people. So again, like I said, it's not a, you know, you're not locked in anything. There's not a membership site, you know, that type of situation. So, um, go for it. You know what I mean? You have nothing to lose. You know, you have everything, nothing to lose and everything to gain. So, that's true. Uh, and, and time and time, time freedom <coughs> is uh, very important. So, um, again, thank you, Antonio. Um, and again, where, where else can I go? Uh, you know, your, your other website <clears throat> that you have? Yeah, uh, you can go to my blog. I got a lot of free content up there as well as, you know, like I said earlier, videos mean everything in this, this uh, you know, world that we're in today. Everybody likes watching videos. So I have a lot mm -hmm. of video blogs up there as well. It's called, um, go to AntonioHitman.com. Okay. AntonioHitman.com. Okay. Okay. And for those who are seeing this video as well, um, there's real estate wholesaleunexplained.com. Um, and you know, uh, check out the blog. You know, it's uh, a lot of valuable. We're just, I just, this is a new blog transition from an old blog to a new blog. So there'll be a lot of mm -hmm. valuable content there. And um, and fan us up. I'm sure you got a fan page too, Antonio. So <laughs> anyway, but um, again, thank you, and um, I'll be talking to you. Okay. Thanks, Iman. Did you do right. a great thing with these videos? Thank you, Antonio. Bye. Okay. All right. Bye.